Well, it is a yet another beautiful day. That's the one thing that we can rely on, at least with everything else going on, Michelle. We can spend some time outdoors this time of year, and that's the good thing because we're not cooped up inside as much as we were in the spring, let's say, yeah. and hopefully not this winter as much, but we can at least play outside today. Yeah, <laughs> it is definitely a mild, warm day for late October, a day where you step outside and you think, i got to take advantage of this, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look at the current conditions. Things have really turned around after a foggy start in Newport early this morning that fog at times had the visibility down below a tenth of a mile. I have today as our pick of the week is the combination of the sunshine, the warm temperatures. It is going to stay mild though all the way through Saturday with above average temperatures tomorrow and on Saturday before we turn much cooler on Sunday. That's said right now. September like temperatures lower and middle 70s. Taunton at 75, 73 in Smithfield, 69 degrees westerly and 71 in Newport. So the winds kind of telling the tale of who's in the 70s and who's in the 60s where we've seen them turn on shore like in Plymouth and Hyannis and even westerly. The temperatures are a few degrees cooler. We are in general going to see an easterly wind take over for the rest of today. That'll still allow us to climb into the lower and middle 70s and uh, coastal Massachusetts will be a little bit cooler. That shift in the wind coming as a week frontal boundary a cool front has snuck through our area high pressure behind it going to keep this rain away for our area today and then as we look ahead to the evening hours we will start to see some increasing clouds it's going to be a cooler night for us we'll start off in the lower 60s at 7 o'clock but by 10 a 10 p.m we're in the upper 50s and our late night lows tonight will cool to between about 50 and 55 degrees that's still a little warmer than normal but the last couple of nights we've been in the 60s so you'll notice that and I do think we'll We'll see some more fog developing overnight. Eastern Massachusetts has the risk of it, but even into Rhode Island too. So it's some patchy dense fog possible early in the morning tomorrow, but it should clear up quickly afternoon looking at sunshine and the temperatures tomorrow in the 60s for highs. Here's our tropical satellite as we continue to monitor Hurricane Epsilon 90 mile an hour sustained winds with this storm right now. At uh, one point in the middle of the night, it had strengthened to a major hurricane, a category three. Well, now with some gradual weakening expected as it moves into the cooler North Atlantic Ocean waters and you can see it taking that track far away from the U.S. coastline. So for us, the impacts are going to be felt really in our ocean water. So the surf today at four to five feet tomorrow, that could build up to five to seven feet and we'll still see some high surf into Saturday morning as the storm departs though during the day Saturday, our wave heights will start to diminish. Let's talk about the weekend 70s today, upper 60s for tomorrow. Saturday's back up to near 70 degrees. That's a beautiful start to the day, upper 50s at eight o'clock, 70 at one. Some increasing clouds, cold fronts going to be approaching at the end of the day. Day. I don't expect any rain with that front, but it does cool us down big time for the second half of the weekend. Our highs in the afternoon only in the middle 50s and those nighttime lows will be in the 40s.